Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. This is the first video of two showing how to implement and use attributes in your scenes. In this first video, we are going to focus on setting up attributes so that they are ready for use. Now, the end goal of the two videos is to reach uh, a working scene that will allow my unit in green to enter one door and only exit another door. So this door is a one-way door. So this whole scene is a copy of what you will find in the examples folder. If you have installed the examples project, there is a scene called door one way. And the scene we're going to use for this example is the exact same thing, apart from the fact that I have taken over manual control of the scene. Instead of having a unit patrol around, I will be doing this manually. Otherwise, they are identical. And you should use uh, this as your reference. Now get back to my slightly altered scene. So um, as I said, the first thing to do is to define these attributes. Um, before you do that, you may have noticed that in your own project, uh, some components will have this message on them, that where it says that in order to enable attributes, you will need to define your attributes enum, which is what we will be doing now. So into script, um, it is quite simple to do, and in this example, we will be using uh, the attributes used by the example scenes. So instead of creating one from scratch, I'm simply going to use the thing you already have in your package in the example project. So as you can see right now, I just simply just commented out the example attributes. Um, so now I will get them back in and we'll look at how they are created. So it is, as I said, quite simple. The only thing you do is you create an enum and then you um, decorate that with two attributes, one called flags and one called entity attribute enum. Now don't confuse the two. I mean, these are called attributes in C sharp. Attributes that we are talking about now has to do with attributes in Apex Path. That's a completely different thing. So each of these, now we've created like these four. You can create up to 31. That is the upper limit. You can have a total of 31 attributes and you can only have one of these enums defined. So in order for it to use your enum, well, you do like I just said, you decorate them with the flags for one and then this one is what actually defines this as the enum you want to use in your project for attributes. So as you can see, we have four. Um, three of them define the team, and the fourth uh, a special thing about special doors. Now these can be anything you want. As long as you don't exceed 31, you can have whatever you want and use these attributes for whatever you want. Alright, so that was it for setting up attributes. In the next video, we'll be looking into how to use them.